Hi, welcome to the Polka Dot Farms YouTube channel. Agnard here. Today we're going to talk about our last cutting of hay. It's the middle of September and uh, we're going to get our last cutting of hay. My son cut this this meadow. Um, it's Sunday morning now. He cut it last Friday night, Friday evening. Typically in East Texas, uh, a hay meadow like this will cure and be good enough to bale uh, within 36 hours. It's typical uh, rule of thumb that we do. Uh, we, we grow coastal Bermuda and um, temperatures in East Texas are normally in this time of year or in the summer or 95 to just right at triple digit. Well for this year, uh, this, this temperature now, we had a low of 57 degrees this morning. And there's a heavy dew on the hay from last night. So no big deal, just let it, just let it cure out, bale it tomorrow, right? Wrong. Tomorrow, uh, it's like an 80 or 90% chance of rain. We have tropical storms down in the Gulf and they're gonna move up through uh, East Texas into Tyler. And so we know if we don't bail it tonight, it's gonna get rained on tomorrow. And there's rain in the forecast for the, like the next 10 days. So we know this grass is gonna set on this meadow for 10 days. Now mind you, when he cut Friday night, the forecast didn't look like it looks now. It looked like the forecast was there was gonna be 10, 20% chance of rain at greatest for the next seven, eight days. But you know, that's that's the weather. So what do we do? Do we um, bale it tonight? Because it's not, it's not cured well. It's still very, very green. So do we bale it this evening? Do we wait till this evening, reassess and see how it looks? Uh, or do we um, let it lie? Well, let's talk about some of the things that can happen if you uh, if you bale it green. So there's there's uh, significant moisture in there. Um, you when you bale, you want it to be around 18 to 22 percent. Anything above that 22 percent mark, uh, that all that moisture in there can cause it to heat up. And um, when it gets too hot, number one thing, it's going to make it mildewy and mold. And so you don't want to feed molded or mildewed hay to any of your livestock, not to goats, not to cows, and certainly not to horses. So, um, so that's the number one thing. The number two thing is that it can come to such a heat, it can catch on fire. Uh, I know you've all probably heard about barns burning down. Some, some guy did it in Kansas or Oklahoma and wherever. Uh, it happens to us all. And so those are some of the fears that if we bail this too green is that, um, is that we could catch our barn on fire. So how do you know what 18 to 22 percent moisture looks like? Well they have moisture meters that you can buy. Some balers come with moisture meters. Uh, some of your, um, your bigger, your round balers and uh, your bigger square balers uh, that have all the, the, the bells and whistles. Our little square baler does not. Our little square baler does not have a moisture meter. You can buy probes that will go into the bell or probe that will go into, you get a bunch of it and you, you get it together, you have a probe that will go into it. You know, I guess there's the, which I've never done this, but I guess the scientific way would be to take this, weigh it, then uh, oven dry it, then weigh it again, and then you can get a percentage of what the moisture is. I don't have time to do that, to do a scientific study, but, um, but essentially that's what you're doing. So. You know, if we if we let it lie and it lies wet for, you know, several days, um, you know, some of the protein will leach out. Um, you know, the uh, the quality of the if you look at that, it's got real good grass um, grass blades and little stem. The the grass blades will deteriorate and uh, they won't be as palatable. Um, but versus it mildewing, I, I guess I would probably weigh or lean towards um, letting it sit. Anyway, I don't know. We're gonna see, we're gonna reassess this evening. Um, we, uh, the rain is forecasted to start coming in tonight. And uh, hey guys, coming back to you. Just wanna say uh, it's about 3.30, 4 o'clock. Uh, you know, we, we were talking this morning, kinda looked doom and gloom whether this was gonna cure out. Uh, it got down to 57 degrees last night. Uh, it did get up to 81 and uh, so what's been great is we uh, there's been lots of good wind and so I, I feel pretty good 
the grass looks like it's going to make a okay we're fixing to start raking you're going to see me do that here in a few minutes and uh anyhow here we go